Hey, I wanted to show you this uh, because I got this email in and it's a great example of a phishing email. In other words, it's a scammer sending me an email and trying to get my personal information. And I wanted to show you a few things that you can watch for to be able to spot these things easily. This is the email right here. Now you can see it appears to come from Debit Wells Fargo. Now that right in itself doesn't really make a lot of sense. Usually the from address or the from display name would just be Wells Fargo if it really came from Wells Fargo. The subject line <clears throat> is debit card alert and then some random letters. There's a couple of reasons for both of these things. One is debit card alert is designed to make the recipient say, oh no, my debit card, I better check this out. It's designed to inspire just a little bit of panic, like what's going on? The other part of the subject line is random letters, and that's designed to help it get past spam filters. And in this case, it worked. It's very unusual because Gmail, this is my Gmail account, and Gmail has very good spam filters, but it got past this one anyway. Now, if we look down here at the body of the email, the email address does not come from Wells Fargo. It's coming from security alerts at smarthost510.coxmail.com. Obviously not a Wells Fargo email account. It's also not addressed to me. It's addressed to undisclosed recipients. If, if Wells Fargo had sent me this email legitimately, that would be my email address right there, not the word undisclosed recipient. So that's something else to watch out for. Now, the entire body of the email is, there's almost nothing here. We've got a bunch of random letters here, uh, right here, which is again designed to get past the spam filter. And the only text is, you have one new alert on your account. And then there's a link. Now, I want you to watch down here, down in this lower left corner. When I put my mouse over this link, see what address comes up. You can see down there, it's showing lapan.go.id slash pick news. That's the address that that link goes to obviously not a Wells Fargo website address. That's the probably the biggest tip off in this whole thing. So, and you can find that out without, see I haven't even clicked on that link yet. So you don't need to click on the link to find out where it's going to go. So if we do click on that link, this is, this is where we go. Now obviously they've done a great job in reproducing a site that looks exactly like the Wells Fargo site. Uh, look, if we put in the username, I'm just going to put in a blank username, and they've been very clever about this. I'm going to just put in a five digit username and a password of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when I click sign on, oh we get an error message please enter your correct username. That's because the scammer has figured out that Wells Fargo usernames have to be at least six characters. So I'm going to add one more character to the username and then click sign on. And then it takes us to this screen. Now this is where you really have to be, I mean you'd have to be really insane to not know that this is a scam. They're asking for all kinds of personal information, your address and everything, but then your mother's maiden name, which is the gateway to a lot of your other passwords at other sites, social security number, your check card number, your ATM pin, the three digits on the back of your card. Uh, I mean, if you anybody that gives them this much information, you're going to have your bank account cleared out pretty easily and quickly. So these are a few things to watch for. And... Uh, be careful out there. If you get an email from your a bank, your kid's school, UPS, FedEx, PayPal, any of those places asking for this information, you know it's a scam and don't fall for it.